Hi, it's Mike Herman. It's Thursday night, and I'm here in my home office, and I have a lesson for you for this evening, which I think will have a lot of value for you. I know that when I had this distinction come through to me, it made a big difference in my life and in my business, so here it is. This whiteboard represents your life, your business, your world, and in your world are business, family, love life, social, friends, church, etc. And we have all of these interacting, intersecting elements and parts of our world all throughout our lives. They come, they go, they move in and out, etc. But with all this abundance and greatness in our lives, what a lot of people do is they focus on that little tiny dot right there. There's a little tiny, it's not even a freckle, it's barely even a speck. But they make this tiny little freckle speck into this giant, let me use a different marker, make it a little more easy to see. They make it into this gigantic knot of mess that it really isn't. And because you make this into this, all of this becomes this, and you can't see it. And we get blind spots that this, which is all of this, becomes insignificant because we're blinded by this little tiny speck. It happens all the time. Think about it. How many times are you letting something small obscure your vision or block you from something important or stop you from doing something great or get in the way of something you should be completing or whatever that obstacle is. It's all in your perspective and that's what I'm trying to tell you. If you take this gigantic knot and see it for the speck that it is, it goes from this to this and this goes from this to this, like that. But you have to be willing to let go of your ego and of your priorities that you think are important because they resonate within the ego. The ego says, I must have this. I am important. I need to be fulfilled. I need to be recognized and acknowledged and praised. I need to have to do to be. Instead of saying, how can I do, be, serve, give to others? When you flip that, this becomes this, and this becomes back to that. It's all a matter of priority. It's all a matter of how you perspective, how you process what you're going through, what you're having in your life. And the really great way of processing that is by saying a quote that uh, Cantor Esther Leon Schwartz taught me a couple of years ago. It goes like this. If only I could remember a thousand times a day to say thank you. And I have that in my phone. I have that in my organizer. I have that in my wallet. I think it's such a profound quote. If only I could remember a thousand times a day to say thank you. How would that change your life? How would that change the lives of others in your life? Others that you don't even connect with that are beyond your reach in the ripples of those that you affect. So my suggestion and, and challenge for you this evening is to let something like this be something like this. And let the little things in life the moments that you let get by so easily be gigantic. If you want to know more about that, how to make that happen, how to do that, visit me at itsreallyeasy.com. You can send a card to someone, tell them how much you appreciate them, how much they mean to you, how great they are. And just by doing that, you can do this to this. I'm Mike Herman. I hope this helped. Let me know, michaeljherman.com. Connect with me on Facebook and Twitter. You have a great night.